Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Stefano Carpani. I'm a psychoanalyst and a sociologist. Today, we'd like to introduce this book by Wolfgang Gigerich. What are the factors that heal? And I would like to extend this question to everyone listening. What are the factors that heal? The first interesting thing is that this book was published by Dusk Old Books, a very small uh, publishing house based in London, Ontario, Canada. And uh, so this is the news. Wolfgang Gigerich, who always published with Spring Books, now published this book with Dusk Old Books, while his collective works have been republished by Routledge in 2020. This book just came out, came out in the spring 2020. The last one, one of the few that before Gigerich work on the concept or the factors that ill was also human. And he especially looked at the difference between the medical profession and our profession. Um, what is Gigerich looking at? For example, he starts um, talking about the fact that there are two ways of thinking about healing, in medicine and in psychotherapy. And then he underlines that the main healing factor is the personality of the therapist, among other factors. And the healing effect of releasing oneself. Let me go through bits and pieces of this book. Gierich underlines that uh, the true purpose of psychological writings has to be the training of the mind on the one hand, and that the focus on cases and the practice of psychotherapy is psychologically counterproductive, locking the psychological mind in the narrow confines of the consulting room. In fact, he gets on the lines, I never wrote about cases. I had the honor and the privilege to work with him in supervision. We followed few cases, and I can say I learned a lot. His approach is very different to the approach that I experienced with other uh, Jungian psychotherapists. One fact is that he looks at the dream, or what the dream is. Very seldom, seldomly ask about the patient. But he looks at the symbols of the dream and stays there. Gigerich underlined that this book offers a theoretical reflection of a number of healing factors, that is, an attempt, no more, to achieve a deeper psychological understanding of what healing in the realm of the soul's life actually means. He also underlined, this book does not claim to cover the whole range of the factors that might possibly heal. In the preamble, he writes, the question what really heals should actually not be asked. This is a forbidden question. What is it that brings about the cure is a mystery and must be respected and treated as such. He underlined Jung's idea that the psyche has a tendency to cure itself, that the soul is self relation, self generation, self expression. Gigerich initially looks at Heinrich Fiertz and then at Adolf Guggenbrunn. He underlines that Fiertz, who was a Jungian chief physician of a Jungian clinic, underlined that we do not heal, we do not alleviate the suffering, but we can at best constellate healing an alleviation of the suffering. While Guggenbrunn underlined that he connected the concept of constellation with the idea of the healer archetype as what is to be constellated. And Guggenbrunn wrote, I assume that the archetype of curing of the healing or alleviation of the suffering can be or should be constellated in the patient. The archetype of curing, which, by the way, is usually also the archetype of the illness, is what heals. 
Birch underlines or finds that Guggenberg recourse to an archetype in this connection is counterproductive. In the introductory comments, he underlines that psychotherapy should not focus on healing or alleviating the suffering of the patients. The mystery of what it is that actually heals need to be preserved to respect. We have to view actual healing as no more than a side effect of our therapeutic efforts. Then you look at Freud and the concepts, the three steps of analysis, remembering, repeating, and working through. At Adler, evoke content or communal, the communal sense the healer. And then Jung, obviously, self-healing of the soul. And then you also look at Ilman's idea of purpose, the purpose of therapy as soul making, as well as the idea of estitrophe, epistrophe, sorry, of finding the God in Jesus. Of course, you work on the idea of stages and the fact that not all patients should follow the same treatment. I've um, been thinking a lot about what heals. For me, what heals is the relationship, is the eros of the relationship. I suggest you this book and looking at the concept of soul making and of the individual process. Buy this book, read this book, enjoy this book. Wolfgang Gigerich, What are the factors that heal? Published by Dask Old Books. Thank you.